Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today we're going to try one of these new Lean Cuisine or Life Cuisine by Lean Cuisine. Uh, these are the Lifestyle Bowls. This one is the Low Carb Lifestyle. It is Buffalo Style Chicken and Cauliflower Bowl. It's white meat chicken with celery, cauliflower florets, carrots, cheddar cheese, and a creamy buffalo style sauce that has a little pepper on there. So I don't know, I guess that means it's a little spicy. Uh, 14 grams of net carbs, 20 grams of protein, essential nutrients. Um, it is, what is that? So there it is. 10 ounces or 283 grams. We bought these at Kroger, it was $3.99. Eh, not, not too awfully bad. 400 calories for the whole bowl. There's your other information. Wow, saturated fat. That's a little higher than I would have expected, too. Uh, let's see, directions on the bottom. Okay, um, I don't see oven directions. Yeah, microwave only. So we're going to leave film on the bowl, so don't vent it or anything. Cook and high for three minutes, stir and recover, and then cook for another two minutes and let it sit for a minute. So three, stir, recover, and two. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, got some cheese in there. I see some chicken. Oh, not the bad. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't stirred it up yet for the final time. It smells good. Um, I don't really get a super strong cauliflower smell, but you know what? I don't see tons. I mean, there's cauliflower definitely in there, but it's not like it's all cauliflower. So I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute. Probably cut these pieces of chicken to smaller bite-sized pieces, because there's a piece and you can see how it's pretty big. Cut into smaller pieces and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's the bite I'm gonna take. Chicken, I see uh, celery and carrots and cauliflower at the end. So here we go. First of all, the cauliflower is cooked, it's very tender. It's not really uh, crunchy. Actually, the carrots are what's crunchy. The cauliflower itself is actually very tender, which I like. Um, the celery still has some crunch to it too. So you're getting the texture of the, of the carrots and the celery is crunchy. The cauliflower, at least that one piece I got was pretty soft, although it's fairly small. Here's a bigger piece, let's see what it's like. The sauce is really hot, like heat hot. A little bit of texture in the um, in the stalk itself, like the back part, but the, the actual round part of the cauliflower is not bad at all. Heat-wise, it is, um, it's got some spice to it. It's not like really like burn, burn your mouth, but there is some back of your throat kind of tingle going on. So uh, if you don't like spicy food, of course, you're not going to get something that says buffalo. But um, I just want you to know that it does have some heat, but it's not overpowering at all. It's, it's not... I had buffalo chicken that was much, much hotter than this. This one was not bad. Um, Flavor-wise, it's okay. I really don't get that hot sauce kind of flavor. Um, you get a little bit of it, but it's not really strong. Like, you know, when you think of buffalo chicken, you really think of like that vinegary, peppery kind of buffalo sauce. And um, you really don't get that flavor, or at least I haven't gotten that flavor with this. No, it really just doesn't have that flavor. Uh, what you're tasting is primarily like a cheese flavor, and then you get the chicken and the cauliflower. It is trying even the sauce on its on its own just does not have that flavor. You pretty much just taste the stuff that's under there, underlying it, and the cauliflower is not really strong. I really, I'm not. I like cauliflower when it's cooked, which this one is cooked pretty well. Cauliflower, raw cauliflower is very, very strong flavored, but cooked, it's a little milder. This is on the milder side as far as the flavor of the cauliflower goes. Um, yeah, it's really just, um, it's not too exciting. I mean, you get the tingle in the back of your throat, and you get the flavor of the chicken and a little bit of that cauliflower, but that's about it. I mean, you really don't taste the buffalo sauce at all. I wish you did, because if I got a buffalo style um, chicken, I want to taste the buffalo sauce, and they really just missed it, if you ask me. Um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5, though. I don't dislike it. It's not bad. It's just I wish it had a little bit more of that buffalo flavor. Beyond that, it, it's actually pretty decent. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I like the textures. The flavors are good. They're just not as good as I would have expected it. Um, so, really, yeah, there's nothing to hate on, but there's nothing to love either. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.